and you are looking at video coming out of Hong Kong during the afternoon hours here on Monday. As we continue to watch Tropical Storm Rumpy, actually in Hong Kong, winds up to about 80 kilometers per hour reported, but farther off towards the west for all intents and purposes. As you can see here on this microwave imagery, this storm is packing quite a punch, and I would say it is definitely at typhoon intensity of winds 65 knots or greater but the storm already packing a punch farther down towards the south we were talking about the philippines the last several days where the storm made landfall and actually moved right through the manila metro area early sunday morning well at that time there was a tornado reported into quezon but uh, much more grim news and very grave news coming out of Asias near Ilio. Uh, seven reports of deaths from two families alone due to a boat capsizing out here um Six of the seven deaths were children under the age of 10. So some uh, very, very sad news. And what makes it worse is that uh, it was due to a boat capsize thing. And the fact is, when these signal forces are in place, just stay out of the water. Even if your ferry is not canceled, it's better just to wait a day for the storm to pass, vice getting out there into the sea, and you get into some very dangerous conditions. So uh, definitely our thoughts are with all those families that did lose some loved ones following the storm system as it did push across there. And now the worst of it, though, is pushing off there towards Hainan. Now, I said for all intents and purposes, it is a typhoon. JTWC has upgraded it to a typhoon as well. JMA, the official agency, and the one we follow here at westernpacificweather.com still has it as a tropical storm. Winds at 93, gusting up to 130 kilometers per hour. Look at this vast difference, though. This is JMA, a little bit bigger, moving a little bit faster. 120 gusting up to 148 kilometer per hour winds with the storm system. Radar even confirms this up as well. Coming out of Hanan here, you can see an eye wall, a fairly defined one, especially along the southern periphery. These bands right in here are going to be packing some winds, definitely above 100 kilometers per hour. Wind gusts near the shorelines here, even though it is coming offshore, these are going to be some strong winds as well. And then off on along the northern periphery. Not as much moisture here because we have vertical wind shear coming in from the northeast and really the cloud cover is remaining down there towards the southwest with the heaviest rain showers but you're still going to be seeing some pretty strong winds as it pushes ashore especially in the right front quadrant of the storm system winds sustained near typhoon intensity and gusting above it is very well going to be possible especially here around Maoming over there towards Yangjiang um, and then even into uh, eastern portions of Hainan here you're going to be seeing these winds continuing to wrap around storm system coming short this is going through overnight here on Monday into Tuesday uh, let's pull this ahead though into the next several hours. We can see the storm system pushing on shore. It rapidly weakens after it pushes on shore here. And the main reason it just loses moisture uh, source out of the South China Sea. Also, you're looking at the friction over land. And then look at some of the vertical wind shear continuing the pushing from the northeast over top of the storm system, at least part of the model outlook here. So, a lot of factors in play with this storm system as it does continue to push on shore. But I think the main factor, especially going through the day here on Tuesday, Tuesday through the morning hours after this moves on shore those winds are going to ease off rather quickly it's the rainfall and that continued moisture inflow coming in from the South China Sea the immediate coastal areas even though the storm system will rapidly weaken are going to see some heavy rainfall two to three hundred millimeters expected flooding is going to be a possibility here now into Hong Kong not so much there I mean let's take a look at this video again it's more of a misty rain type situation some of these outer rain bands this should be the worst of it out here the worst stuff is going to be farther towards the west right near this storm system take a look at this this is where the low pressure center is and right in the right front quadrant we always talk about that that's where that moisture flows coming on shore that's where the strongest winds are and that is where you're going to be seeing the heaviest rainfall so on that though we are going to continue to watch this tropical system after it moves on shore here throughout the day on tuesday quickly weakens out we still have that rainy season front stretching across portions of china actually some severe flooding off towards sichuan province still a low pressure area here into northeastern china that's expected to move through the korean peninsula on tuesday impact most of japan on Wednesday, so showers throughout Japan by midweek. At least the good news is that the Philippines, you're going to be getting a break from the severe weather for the time being. 
So uh, that is all for right now, though, everybody. We're going to continue to watch our Tropical Storm Rumbio or Gorio here throughout the next 24 to 48 hours. After that, taking a little bit of a break once it weakens out, but still have these other systems going on. As far as the tropics, so it does look at least into the next week, it's going to be much quieter. But as this storm system proved, it blew up in a very, very short time, and, well, we can still be surprised. So let's continue to keep an eye out here. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them down into the comment box below and as always stay safe out there everybody bye